Hey everybody, KC here. So I was just reading an interesting story in uh, The Atlantic about the plus sign and how so many streaming services added the plus sign um, to their names as a way of differentiating themselves. You've got, um, you've got Apple TV+, Plus, AMC+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus, BET+, Plus, Disney+, Plus, Paramount+. Plus. And in some cases, what the plus really means is there's a minus, minus commercials, but that's changing as well. I mean, it was fascinating. When streaming television started, they said, oh, we're going to drop all of the episodes at once, no commercials. Then gradually they started, you know, dr dropping them in once a week, right? Because that was a way to get you to keep coming back. And then they started adding commercials because that way of, uh, was a way of generating more revenue. In so many ways, it seems to me that a lot of these streaming services, not all of them, but a lot of them are sort of reverting to the traditional broadcast model because they're streaming. Eh, they can have more sex, more violence, more, you know, uh, diff a different kind of content. But I'm not even sure it's necessarily always really good content. I wonder what the ratio is of good stuff to crap. Is it any different than it used to be on broadcast television? I'm not sure. I mean, it's remarkable to me. The most streamed series during 2023 Suits, which was a, main, uh, a mainstream cable series. Again, to me, this sounds like scattershot marketing. It seems like what's happening is these companies are trying to make it up as they go along. They're trying to figure it out on the fly. Now, that may be because the streaming economic model never made sense, but I also think what it means is they didn't think it through and they're not really sure what their, their brands stand for. And that's a mistake that traditional retailers cannot make that mistake. You have to know what you stand for. Uh, if you're going to be a food retailer plus, you better know what the plus means. You better know how you're going to be different. If you haven't figured that out, if you're trying to make it up as you go along, not to say you can't make adjustments, but if you're making it up as you go along when it comes to your core foundational value proposition, well, you probably don't have a real value proposition at all. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.